What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use Access Edit and understand the WordPress reading settings. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics not just internet on your site's favor. So let's get this started. This is one of the beginner's guide from the very first things you need to do on your WordPress website, okay, when you are starting a new site, because you start creating some pages, okay, and on this setting, you're going to be able to set these pages up and make your site understand what is the home page, what is the blog page, okay, so here is an example to access this page, you're going to move to your WordPress dashboard, okay, into your domain, slash WP admin or WP login, just like this in my URL. And you're gonna be into this page, review the left sidebar of menus. These menus may change according to the team that you are using, the plugins you have active, but you always gonna have this menu right here on the left sidebar, the settings. And if you hover your mouse over it, you always gonna have the reading option, okay? So click on it. Just a note in the case that you do not see this option right here, it's because your account may not have the admin user rules. So ask for administrative access to your WordPress website, okay? So this is the reading settings, okay? I'm gonna explore every single section. Normally the WordPress comes just like this. From the your homepage displays, your latest posts, this is the default option. All WordPress when recently started comes right here. But imagine that you already have created some pages on your site, okay, on the dashboard, page, set new, and you have created a specific page to be your home and another specific page to be your blog index page, the page to display your posts. So you're gonna want to have the page displayed as a static page select below. So from change from latest posts to aesthetic pages select below and now we're gonna be able to change the home page and the posts page okay so the home page we're gonna click right here and select any of our pages independently of the name of the page this page gonna be your home page the website front page okay so the very first page that gonna be loaded if someone hits your domain. So your domain.com gonna load this page. Normally we create a page called it home, but you can call this wherever you want, okay? So just select this page. And the posts page. Normally we call the posts page as our blog. So you have created two pages, call it blog, and we can choose one of those to be your blog page. Now after this, make sure you hit the save change button and go review your change. After, we can move to blog page shows at most. So, at most, your page is going to show 10 posts. And after this, you're going to create this pagination. So, the numbers that you see into the bottom of your posts with one, two, three, four to load older posts. Okay, but we can change this for wherever we want. Normally we used to display 10 posts, but it can change according to the layout you want, okay? Now, the syndication from feeds shows the most recent 10 eatings. What is this? This is for RSS feeds, okay? So the RSS feeds are really, really useful for the older internet. Most of the site does not use this, but it's really still important for aggregation, for site explanation, for SEO, and for some other purposes. So this is the amount of eatings that are gonna appear into your RSS feeds, okay? Normally, if you want to display 15 posts into your blog, I recommend that you use the same number right here, okay? But it's up to you. Now, for each post in the feed include full text or accept. Normally, this can be controlled by your team, but I recommend that you choose this accept, okay? Because this is gonna show you just a certain amount of the first words of your posts, and if the person click on the post, they're gonna be able to read the full post, okay? This is good for SEO proposed. 
And here is the second most important part of this section right here, the reading settings. Search engine visibility. This encourages search engines for indexing the site, okay? It's up to search engines to honor this request. This is, for example, imagine that you are running a private site, an intranet site, or some other kind of site that is can be crowded by the search engine robots. You need to set this mark right here and save your change. But in the case that you already build your site, they're gonna create a future video explaining what to do, okay? In order to Google, if Google do not crawl your site properly, okay, what to do. But if you are starting, you do not have plans to launch the site sooner, I recommend that you select this option, okay? If not, search engines gonna, may or may not, okay? crawl your site and review if the pages are there, index the page, okay, into the search results page. But it is, this is all we can do into this option right here. In my opinion, the most important part of this page is the home page and the posts page, okay, to select those right here. And this search engine visibility. After your change is made, you're gonna click on save change in order to save the results. Results are saved and you can go to your site. For example, if I go to my site homepage, this is the homepage, the page that I set to be my home. This is, was a created page using Elementor plugin, okay? And you can import this page for free for using a Zootame or a Borderless plugin. And if I go to the blog, I'm gonna be loading my blog page, okay? So this page is my blog that's gonna list my posts. And that is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our Borderless WordPress plugin to gain widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Gutenberg editors and Zoo WordPress team that is the best free WordPress team you can download. And in the case that you want to submit your site to receive guest posts, to publish guest posts, to grow up your blog, to be listed into right here, like all of those bloggers already did it, and connect with a greater network, just go to growth3w.net, submit your site, it's completely free. Moreover, in the case that you want to go premium and save time while doing your site, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and go premium in order to unlock access to our full template library that are a, an amazing and growing list of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click and make your site look like of those ones. Unlock access to our premium icons library or full support to get help doing your site, premium widgets, blocks, templates, tools, and many, many more pro features all for a single price. And it is, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.